Welcome to Free Speech Nation. It was known as the Sphinx, a terrifying hybrid with the body of a lion and the head of a woman. According to the legend, the Sphinx was sent to guard the city of Thebes by the goddess Hera, who wanted to punish the citizens for some ancient crime. The Sphinx perched on a nearby mountain, and whenever anyone attempted to either to enter or to leave the city, she would pose a riddle. If the traveler failed to answer, he or she would be devoured. But this was no normal riddle. It was so confounding, so esoteric, so abstruse, that even the great intellectuals of the day soon found themselves in the stomach of the mighty Sphinx. And what was this riddle? What was the question that foxed even the sharpest of minds? It was simply this. What is a woman? <laughs> even now, I'm sure most of you are thinking to yourselves, how could one possibly answer such a metaphysical conundrum? And you're not alone, so take a look at this. I'm going to finish up then, this hasn't been very helpful, with a very simple question for the department, and that is one which has troubled me for a great deal of time with the bureaucracy here. Can someone please provide me with a definition of what a woman is? <coughs> department of Health. Definition of a man. Definition of a woman. Anyone? It's pretty basic. It's basic stuff. Professor Murphy. <laughs> there, look, I think there are... There are a variety of definitions, and I, I think a simple perhaps, one. perhaps to give a, a more fulsome answer, we should take that on notice. You're going to take on notice yeah. the question of what a woman is. No, well, there, there are a variety. It, it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's a very contested space at mm. the moment. Senator, it's not I just mean, a woman who was born a woman, Senator, but there are definitions in terms of how people identify themselves. So we're happy to provide. Our working that definition is on one of the, I've only been here two years. That's the best thing I've seen thus far. Thank you so much. Now that's the Department of Health. <laughs> so if ever I fall ill in Australia, I am definitely not going to the hospital. They might accidentally try and give me a smear test or something. <laughs> and what about Joe Biden's appointee to the Supreme Court? Can she enlighten us? Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If there's a dispute about a definition, people make arguments, and I look at the right. law and I decide. Well, so I'm not. The fact that you can't give me a straight answer about something as fundamental as what a woman is underscores the dangers of the kind of progressive education that we are hearing about. So Katanji Brown Jackson's answer there says she's not a biologist. And it's true, she's, she's not a biologist. So how could she possibly know? what a woman is. It's the same reason I don't know the difference between a cat and a dog, because I'm not a zoologist, right? It's why when a friend asked me where I was going for my holidays this year, I told him I didn't know because I'm not a cartographer. <laughs> you know, it's why if, if anyone ever asks me to call them on the phone, I tell them I can't because I'm not Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> but look, that's Australia and America. Now, surely our elected representatives here in the UK <laughs> won't have a problem with questions of this kind. Let's see what happened when the leader of the opposition was asked whether women have penises. Women can have a penis. <laughs> Nick, I'm not. I don't think we can conduct this debate with, you know. Sorry, have I, have get I offended this, you in some way? No, 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 it's just. Uh, no, 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 I just. A I woman can have a penis. I don't think that um, discussing this issue in this way helps anyone in the long run. And how about Annalise Dodds, the Shadow Secretary of State for Women and Equality? So surely she would be the most qualified to know what a woman is. Abe's definition of a woman? Well, I have to say that there are different definitions legally around what a woman actually is. I mean, you look at the definition within the Equality Act, and I think it just says um, uh, someone who is um, adult and female, I think, but then doesn't say how you define either of those things. I mean, obviously, that's then uh, you've got the biological definition, legal definition. No, no, I don't, but I, 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 with respect, I didn't ask <laughs> for that. What, what's, what's the Labour definition? Well, um, I think with respect, Emma, I think it does depend uh, what the context is, surely. I mean, surely that is important here. Okay, she's struggling. Okay, 
But what does her predecessor, Dawn Butler, have to say about all this? When, when a child is born, they are identified and observed in a particular well, sex, aren't they? The child is born without sex, and the child is formed without sex yeah. in the beginning, but I, any, I don't, anyway. I don't hold... A child is born without biological sex? OK, well, I guess the midwife just flips a coin or something. <laughs> now, all of these clips I've shown you are from politicians on the left, and by failing to stand up for women's rights, they've left an open goal for the Tories. And this week, Boris Johnson scored. He said, I don't think that it's reasonable for kids to be deemed so-called Gillick competent to take decisions about their gender or irreversible treatments that they may have. I think there should be parental involvement at the very least. I also don't think that biological males should be competing in female sporting events. I happen to think that women should have spaces which are dedicated to women. That doesn't mean I'm not immensely sympathetic to people who want to change gender, to transition, and it's vital that we give people the maximum love and support in making those decisions. Do you see how easy that was? I mean, he didn't obfuscate, he just said what we all know to be true. And given that women are 50% of the electorate, and the other 50% do have a basic understanding of biology, he just gave his party a huge boost. Now, I've never voted Tory in my life, but I do know that Labour's credibility will continue to suffer until it gets to grips with this issue. And let's not forget that feminists are overwhelmingly left-wing, but they are now often writing articles for right-leaning publications or being offered platforms by right-wing commentators because the culture war isn't about left versus right, it's about truth versus fiction. And by the way, it hasn't escaped the attention of feminists that the question, what is a man, mysteriously rarely seems to be asked. Of course, activists are now doubling down. They're trying to frame the question, what is a woman, as some kind of gotcha. But a gotcha is a tricky question that exposes something embarrassing that the interviewee has either said or done in the past. It's not just a simple question that any moderately intelligent four-year-old could answer. To ask a politician the question, what is a woman, isn't a gotcha because they know the answer. And they know that we know that they know the answer. It isn't that they can't define it, it's that they're too scared to define it because they've been so cowed and intimidated by activists. It would be one thing if these politicians had bought into gender identity ideology to such an extent that they no longer believe in biological sex differences. I mean, that would be deranged, but it, at least it would be forgivable. But that's not what's happening here. While most of us have a limited understanding of various key political issues, we can all see that a failure to define woman is either delusional or dishonest, neither of which are qualities that we seek in our elected representatives. The question, what is a woman, has become a litmus test. It's not a gotcha. It's not transphobic. It's a means by which we can assess the honesty of the ruling class. And if they can't speak openly about the things we all know to be true, we won't be able to trust them when it comes to anything else.